All right, this demonstration is for adding details to a slab project or really any clay project. I'm gonna turn my box over on its side. I have a little perforation here that this whole part of my box is gonna go away. It's gonna, I'm gonna cut it on an angle. So I wanted to show you the, I wanted to show you, I made a drawing here. What does it look like? Can anybody recognize it? It's gonna be a house, okay? If many of you may already know, I designed my house that my husband built. This is gonna be a replica of my house. It'll have a little awning that comes out right here. So it's much easier for me to draw on paper than it is to draw on clay. So I've used a water-based marker. First I started with pencil. And now watch, I'm going to take this design and I'm gonna press it onto the front of my box. And now I'm just gonna rub this here and I'm being real careful because I don't wanna push in any of the sides, but I need to put this on nice and gentle and I'm gonna rub a little bit of water on top just to get it a little bit more wet. If this process isn't working for you the first time, um, it just means that you need some water. If you don't have water, enough water added, it, it definitely doesn't work. So what I'm doing is a design transfer and like I said, if I don't have any water, then it's really not gonna do the transfer for you. So I'm just gonna peek over in one of my edges and see if I have my design transferring and it is working. Once you have applied it to all of the areas, and I just need a little bit more water on here. I'm gonna grab this spray bottle real quick. I'm just going to spray it on my hand, on my fingers. I don't want this too wet, but I want my design from the other side to transfer. Okay. Now I'm going to lift it off. And look at my design is now on my, um, it's on my, on my clay. Now I can go ahead and there's a couple areas where it's missing. No big deal. What I'm gonna do is just go over all of that with a tool because the clay does tend to absorb that ink. And now I can use this to help, help me get information quickly onto the clay. And it's also gonna help me so that I am able to be more accurate with my designs. Like I said that um, that ink is going to absorb in that clay. So you want to be real mindful that it is going to go away. So I want you to be, sometimes it stays, sometimes it goes. I'm going to rest my arm on my table and I'm just scratching the surface with a tool because I don't want those details to go away. Now, could I cut all the way through? Absolutely. If I want to, I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife. And that X-Acto knife, I, I could just cut out little pieces here. But that, for my design, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna paint on all of the details with my glaze, okay? This is gonna become, um, I think, a cookie jar. And I'm also gonna do the back sides. So this is gonna eventually be the roof line. And then I will have an awning that comes out here. So um, the roof will eventually be the, the top of the cookie jar that I could lift off. Um, so I'm still gonna make some cuts and adjustments here. So that completes the demonstration.